better to light one light in the darkness than to just curse the darkness to have a lantern, a guidepost. Years ago, and I stopped commercially flying myself. Why? Because I knew all the 9-11 rhetoric we see on the major television networks and on TV shows and in the media is crap. Though I don't have a national television show, I can hold a lantern in the dark. It's up to you to choose whether you want to watch and learn some truth that may make you feel very uncomfortable about the government that you thought you could trust, whether it's a Democratic-labeled government or a Republican-labeled government or a Tea Party government or a Libertarian or Independent. Jesse Ventura has finally caught up with what I told him in Minneapolis at the Ron Paul rally, the Campaign for Liberty, September 2008. The real lovers of liberty gathered to salute Ron Paul. Jesse Ventura came and made a speech too, and we've all seen that footage. But now finally, Jesse Ventura gets it. You cannot get justice in the federal courts. You cannot get justice in the state courts. Our entire political system is corrupted by lawyers who dominate the legislatures, the executive branch, and all the courts. It's really time to take back America. I'm William Wagner. Here's what Jesse Ventura had to say. It's a fraud and they're cowards. I'm on record of saying our judicial system in this country today is a bunch of cowards. They won't let me go to court. They won't let me have my day in front of a jury. Is that the American way? Well, my only way of fighting back, and I'll tell you this right now, I will never stand for a national anthem again. I will turn my back and I will raise a fist the same way Tommy Smith and John Carlos did back in the 68 Olympics. Jesse Ventura will do that today. The courts of the United States ruled against me that I as a citizen and a former governor and a veteran am not allowed to go to court over my Bill of Rights or the Constitution. They said they don't have jurisdiction. Well, my question is, if the federal courts don't have jurisdiction over a constitutional question, then who the hell does? Who the hell does then? I believe that they're cowards. I believe they've got a yellow streak. They're avoiding lawsuits over our constitutional rights because they know if I go to court and I'm given a jury, I will win, and that'll open up Pandora's box, won't it? So it's simpler for the government to simply deny us our constitutional rights and deny us our day in court. I will tell you this, I have lost my patriotism. It's gone. And I say that with a deep heart because I never thought that Jesse Ventura would say that, that he has no more patriotism left because they've stripped me of it by not allowing me to have a day in court with a jury to determine if my Fourth Amendment rights are being violated. Uh, in light of the fact that I can't go to court on it or get a decision on it, uh, I will never fly commercially again. I haven't flown commercially in almost a year because of the trial. Since I'm not allowed in court, well then I guess I just simply can't fly anymore. Because I will not, in what is a free country, be treated like a criminal. And in our airports today, we citizens are treated like criminals. We're guilty until we prove we're innocent. The First Lady and myself will be applying for Mexican citizenship. I'm thinking about it. That's all, though. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it.